Good morning. It's an honor and a privilege to be elected as the new Senate president. And like all of you, being elected to serve the great people of this state is not a responsibility I take lightly. The first day of every General Assembly is always my favorite day because I'm overcome with a great sense of optimism. I have so much optimism because I look around this room and I see so many great public servants. I see teachers and peace officers, farmers, bankers, small business owners, and pharmacists. And yes, I see Republicans and Democrats and even an independent. But beyond professions and party affiliations, I see Iowans. I see senators who share a common passion, a love for this state and their fellow Iowans. I see senators who welcome the task to make this the best state we possibly can. And I have so much optimism because I see 50 senators coming from every corner of this state, converging in Des Moines with big plans and big dreams for this upcoming session. Though I represent the great community of Ankeny, I was raised in rural Iowa, in Grinnell. And this is where my parents, who are with us here today, taught me so many life lessons about hard work and what it means to have Iowa values. When moving into the president's office behind the chamber, I learned of a couple of old pictures that were available down at the State Historical Building. One of them inspired me, and it now hangs in my office behind this chamber. It's a picture of Josiah Bushnell Grinnell, a pioneer who founded the city of Grinnell. He served in this body, the Iowa Senate, in 1856 to 1860. Many of you have heard the phrase, go west, young man, go west. This advice, many say, was given by the great statesman Horace Greeley to a young man named J.B. Grinnell. And Greeley's advice was more than just a compass direction. The west back then represented so many things, natural beauty, wilderness, boldness, optimism, opportunity, and its constant traveling companion, risk. Most of all, it, it represented a pursuit of destiny, with little regard for what was familiar or comfortable or even safe. The West was where the future was being built. Grinnell took Greeley's advice and he traveled West into the unknown. He set out looking to make his mark on his country and leave a legacy for those who came after him. He finally settled in the town of Grinnell because he saw the endless opportunities that we have right here in Iowa. And now, more than 150 years later, I believe that the endless opportunities Grinnell chased are even greater today in our state. I challenge us to look at Iowa and seek the same opportunities that he pursued. I urge my fellow senators to spend the next 110 days, as J.B. Grinnell did, by thinking big and acting bold. And when this session ends and people remember the 2017 session, let them say that this was the year that positively changed our state forever. Let them say that this was the year the economic revival began in Iowa. And let them say that 2017 was the year the legislature dared to dream big. Let's work together this session to expand our workforce, to strengthen our economy, to rejuvenate our ag industry, to ease the tax burdens on all Iowans, create financial stability for our rural communities and our school districts, and provide students with a top-notch education. Let us go west, not across the ground, but in our hearts and minds. And let us confidently face the future the way J.B. Grinnell faced the challenge of the wild frontier. Today is a good day to be an Iowan. Let's work together to make tomorrow even better. Thank you.